Hey guys, it's John Trudletsky at Roblox. I was just reading the blog story from Friday in the comments um, about the plugin that we released uh, that makes it very easy to add an in-game store to your Roblox level. And one of the most frequently posted comments was a request for a video tutorial, which Alan and I thought we'd throw together for you today uh, to maybe make it easier. So let's take a look in Roblox Studio. Okay guys, so the first thing we need to do is download and install the Roblox Studio plugin. So click on the zip file in the blog story, copy the folder that's in the zip file, go to Roblox Studio, hit the tools menu, open the plugins folder and paste it in there. And you've now installed the plugin. Now go to the build page and click edit on the level that you want to add a store to. I chose uh, Sword Fight in the Heights here. Level opens up. And at the top of my screen, I have a Robux icon, and that's the icon for the new plugin. Click that. Now the plugin needs to know the asset ID of the item you want to sell. And you can add multiple items, but we're just going to add one for this demo. I'm going to pick this t-shirt that I already have. I'm going to copy the asset ID out of the URL here, it's that number. I'm going to paste it in there with Control V, although you can also type it out longhand if you want. Then hit Enter. And this gray icon will sometimes be a gray icon, sometimes you'll get a thumbnail here, don't worry about it. Click add to store. You've added it to the store. So you can do that multiple times, add multiple items to the store. Click the Robux icon to make it disappear. I pushed uh, F6 to launch a solo test. So we're gonna try it out and join the game. And what I'm expecting to see is a shopping cart icon at the top of my screen that I am not seeing. Um, so something went wrong here. I actually talked to Deepak, the guy that made the plugin, and he thinks it has something to do with a bug where the script the plugin's inserting is not registering. So I, I checked the store, it's definitely there. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save this level to disk and then I'm going to try it again. So I'm just gonna go up to file, save, and call it something like store test, test store. All right, save it. And then go up to tools, test, play solo. You can also push F6, very handy shortcut. And this time when it loads up, I got the shopping cart icon. That's what I expected to see. So if I click on that, I can see all the items I've added to my store. If I click on the shirt icon there, um, it's not going to work because I'm currently a guest and purchasing stuff only works when you're logged in because only logged in users have inventories on Roblox. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to publish this to roblox.com and we're going to try it out there. And this publishing step is... Uh, taking a while usually a bad sign mm -hmm. so it completed now this is a very important thing to remember when you're editing your Roblox levels is if I just click that play button, if there's game copies of my game already running, I might join an old copy and I wanna make sure I join a new copy. So what I have to do is I have to shut down all the running copies of this game. Um, and I do that with a combination of pushing that shutdown button and that refresh button. And sometimes you have to refresh the whole page because the refresh button gets stuck. Uh, this is something we're working on streamlining in a future version of Studio. So I shut them all down, I'm gonna push play. It's gonna launch the game here in a second and hopefully we will see our in-game store working. No, no shopping cart icon. That's kind of a bummer. Um, yeah, I know how I feel about that. Okay. So let's figure out what went wrong, I think Probably the publish step, since it took a suspiciously long time, didn't actually publish. You can see it says it was updated seven months ago. So yeah, the publish step, no good. So go up to file, let's publish, publish to Roblox as, and very explicitly publish on top of Swordfire in the Heights original. This time it was instant, 
So that's a much better sign. I'm gonna refresh this page. It says it was updated five seconds ago. That's a good sign. Have to shut these all down again. All right, I'm gonna click play. And hopefully we have more luck than last time. Sometimes Roblox Player pops up under Roblox Studio. That's also a known bug that we're working on. Um, so now we got the shopping cart icon. That's good. Click to bring up the store. That's good. Click on that shirt. And I could buy it, except that I already own this shirt. So if I click buy, I'd get a copy of the shirt. That would be great. Um, so I think this is working. And that's really all there is to it. I'm gonna leave the game, add some more stuff to my store. So after recording this, uh, I came back like 30 minutes later to check out how many shirts I had sold. And I think I sold 20 or 30 shirts, which kind of surprised me because I don't have that many people playing in Swordfire in the Heights. So I think I've made about 350 tickets in the last half hour um, with my in-game store.